Are you thinking about getting a 12 volt refrigerator but don't know what size? Today we're going to get into the three different sizes we bought and used and see what works best in what situation. Let's get into it. So today we'll talk about the Iceco Go 20, the JP50, and the VL60. These are the three fridges we've bought over the last couple of years in overlanding to meet different needs. And um, we'll go through a little bit about what each one does and what me uh, need it meets. Now the Go 20 is a 21 quart refrigerator, weighs about 25 pounds and can keep things at around 50 or cooler, 50 degrees to zero or so. Um, you can operate off of 12 or 24 volt. Uh, the dimensions generally run about 24 to 12 to 12 um, in size. What we really use this one for is just drinks in the back of the seat. It's easy to reach in, grab things uh, while you're driving down the road. Helps with kids, you know, put it in the middle uh, between the seats and be able to have different things for them to take a look at uh, as far as juice boxes and everything. It's fairly small inside, can't really put a lot of food in there, but you can put like a three-day trip, kind of a food supply, you can put a few things in there to, to go, like lunch meat and things, make it easy. Okay, next up is the JP50. Uh, it comes also in a 45, a smaller model, I think a smaller model under that. But uh, one of the main key things about this is, this is basically our workhorse. It's been with us the longest, never failed. It operates a very good um, compressor on it. Uh, Model holds about 52 quarts, um, runs on 12 or 24 volts, size is 23 by 13 by 20. So it's kind of a little, uh, a little bit of a big one. You gotta have to really think about the space you wanna put in it. We put this in the back of the Jeep on a platform and on a slider, and then I made a tilt plate that comes out so it makes it real convenient for us short people. Really, this is going to be probably a really good price point option for you to jump into the 12 volt refrigerator game. Um, makes it real easy because you can put it at the back of the Jeep. It has a tilt lid here, has a pull-out basket uh, that you can load and set in. Uh, it's real convenient as far as its size because it's slender and fits in a small space. Um, it is a little bit heavy. I think it runs uh, about 42 pounds, so when you're overlanding, weight counts. You got to kind of really start looking at that. But um, this is a great refrigerator to get you off grid, get you out. Uh, feed a family for a couple of days, fairly easy. Um, we normally don't put drinks in these coolers because we don't want to uh, take up all the room for food. Uh, that's one of the reasons why we ended up with the Go 20, so we could have a place to keep cold drinks, make it nice and easy. Um, this is a single section refrigerator. It's a, dual, a single zone, so you can't keep anything frozen in it for long periods of time. Uh, that lends itself to be uh, kind of prudent with your planning on putting food in here. Uh, our first big trip, we loaded it down with food, took off across, you know, um, Texas, New Mexico, Colorado, uh, and uh, we didn't eat all the food and it ended up wasting a little bit of food. So you kind of have to plan a little bit. Um, it's no problem to go, you know, it's no biggie to go across. You know, a couple of days, stop, re, you know, restock, go a couple more days, restock. That's what we started doing to make it a little bit easier on us to not uh, waste food. I hate wasting food. But this is a good jumping in point into the uh, portable refrigerator game. It's going to run you about $560. Alrighty, this brings us to our third choice of size of refrigerator. This is a behemoth of a refrigerator. I've done a review of this uh, already. I'll put a link up in the top right corner here where you can take a look at uh, that in-depth review. So this is the VL60D Iceco refrigerator coming in at 68 pounds. Uh, can run both off of 110, 12, and 24 volt. Size is 31 by 19 by 18. So it is a honking monster. This refrigerator was bought for our Overland Toyota Tundra truck we're building. Um, the reason being is with the Alu cabin we put on it, we wanted to go out and stay completely off grid long periods of time. We needed more space, we needed more options. And it is a dual zone. You'll see here you can run a refrigerator and 
a freezer off of this. The refrigerator side is a little bit bigger than the freezer side, but freezer is mainly gonna be for chicken, steak, fish, um, any kind of prepped meals we may do. Um, my wife Dana likes to prep, you know, chili, marinate foods, pre-chopped vegetables, things like that, make the trip a little bit easier, a little less prep on the road. But this allows us to do all that and it's big enough to where we can store all the cold foods we want as well as drinks. So this kind of became a one-stop kind of a deal for us. It is a little big in the back seat of the Toyota. Uh, we thought about putting it in the alley cabin section, but we like our leg room and our versatility back there. And this just takes up a honking amount of room. This is a commitment. Um, the, v, uh, the JP is more flexible and versatile, but if you really want to get out, you really want to be off grid, you need something like this, especially with multiple people in your party, family, kids. This one is going to be something you really have to plan for. In the Toyota Tundra, we run dual lithium batteries with solar and the Red Arc battery management system. So we're charging by alternator, by solar, and I have a NOCO plug-in where I can plug in at home with an extension cord to charge up and be ready to go. Um, normally when we're prepping to go on a trip, we bring this refrigerator inside um, and pre-cool it, uh, or they bring the JP in and pre-cool it. That way it's ice cold, we stick it in the vehicle, we load our food and, and whatever we're taking and then roll. Uh, so that's just part of our process. And um, haven't been disappointed with any ice cold product. And we take our refrigeration seriously because when you're out on a trip you're out on the deserts of New Mexico or mountains in Utah you lose a refrigerator you lose your ability to stay off grid or stay out so then you have to start going into towns and finding ice or whatever you're doing you know like I said there's other great refrigerators out there um, that you know CB Adventure Supplies supplies a really good one a Snowmaster I believe uh, Dometica is another one uh, you can get from places like Rack Attack or others that are really solid refrigerators. You're going to pay a little bit more. You're going to probably get a little bit more solid, you know, refrigerator as far as those are concerned. Really depends on your price point of what you want to do. That's for us. Iceco has been solid. Um, Revere Overland supports them. Uh, Ozark Overland supports them. So if those guys trust them. I trust them to uh, not steer us wrong. In if you have any comments or questions below about how we use these refrigerators or what we're doing in upcoming trips or any equipment that we've got that you have questions about, I'll post all the specs for all three refrigerators down in the comments uh, or down in the information section, uh, giving all the specs and the links to these refrigerators as far as size, how much it holds, how many drinks you can fit into it. So please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get to a uh, thousand subscribers right now. Um, so uh, hopefully you can help me blow that number out and keep on going. And if you have any questions again, let us know. We're happy to help, uh, happy to answer any kind of questions. And we hope to see you down the trails.